Welcome back. 5,000, that's about how many mental health related calls Unified Police deal with every year. Now officers often get tied up responding to the same house with the same people and end up at the same place, jail. But Unified PD is trying to change that with a mental health unit. In fact, part of that team just spent a week in Los Angeles learning and training with the LAPD's mental health unit. They saw firsthand how police there deal with these cases and how they get subjects help instead of just putting them in handcuffs. Tonight in our Behind the Badge, we learn more about this new unit and what they hope to accomplish. How are you doing today? I'm good. What, this one? No, I'm good. Man, let me see. Sergeant Jody Sampson and Detective Arlen right, Bennett but... make contact with a man yeah, known for repeated incidents in his neighborhood connected to mental health issues. When's the last time we saw a clinician? Um, he was just in uni, I believe, last month. The 23-year-old's mother doesn't know what to do. He doesn't trust me now. See what I'm saying? He won't get in my car. He thinks anywhere he goes with mommy, I'm going to take him to the hospital. The unified officers are hoping plenty. they can help. So do you think if we build up a trust with him that he would eventually let us facilitate that move? Sergeant Sampson and Detective Bennett are part of Unified's new mental health unit. What are the reporting mechanisms? What do you have? The to unit is something former Sheriff Jim Winder helped uh, put in place uh, before he left his post. State. Jail's not the place for these people. In a phone interview, Winder, who was Salt Lake County Sheriff for a decade, says law enforcement needs to change its approach in dealing with mental health related issues. What you've got is people that are essentially uh, have fallen through the cracks in society. They uh, they end up in these very difficult situations on the street, and then they engage in minor uh, status offenses, and of course they end up in jail. We all pay for it uh, as citizens uh, over and over and over and over again uh, with no real resolution. The officers and county social workers in the new unit believe they can make a difference as they respond to calls from officers who believe they are dealing with a mental health case. If we can build that trust with him to where he will allow us to take him or the clinician, if we can just get him in the habit of going and get him stable, then the call volume from this house goes down. And they will have help. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a mental condition that is triggered by a traumatic event, either experienced or witnessing it. Sergeant Sampson has been teaching other officers about mental health issues as they launch the new unit. She wants them to know more about these types of cases, and she wants them to know they can call her team for help. This fits in to something everybody in the room can relate to. And Sampson and her former boss hope, as they get to know those with mental health issues, they can offer them real help. We've all looked at it hammer, nail. They're, they've done something wrong, they go to jail. This unit breaks that pattern. It allows a different approach and hopefully uh, allows us to begin to connect them to, to the finite services that we do have. Now, the Unified Police Mental Health Unit is just getting started. They plan to have about eight officers and have a Salt Lake County clinician on the team to help get subjects the services that they need. Now, to check out our Behind the Badge stories and to nominate an officer for a future story, go to goodforutah.com slash badge.